In this video, I'll introduce you to the Toshiba Tekra W50 laptop. Remember that you can pause this video at any time to review the information in detail. Also note that your actual unit might appear different due to customizations or model skew differences. Let's take a look at the product. Here's the right view with callouts describing each port. Notice the DC in port on the right side. This is where you plug in your AC adapter. Now we'll look at the left side. Now we'll look at the front. There are five LED status indicators on the front of the computer. I'll briefly describe what each one is and what they're used for, starting on the very left. AC power and battery indicator. When AC power is connected and the battery is fully charged, the LED is on and solid green. If the battery is charging, the LED will glow amber. When AC is not connected and the computer is running off the battery, the LED is off. If the battery is low and is in need of a recharge, the LED will flash amber. On-off indicator. When the computer is on, the LED is solid green. If the computer is in sleep mode, the LED blinks an amber color. Note that when the computer is in sleep mode, you can wake it by pressing the power button. Internal storage drive activity indicator. This LED is green when there is internal storage activity. Wi-Fi radio antenna on-off. When this light is amber, the Wi-Fi radio antenna is turned on. The last LED status indicator is the wireless wide area network indicator light, which is only used on certain models. Now let's discuss the external monitor capabilities. Using the HDMI or RGB port on the side of the W50, you can connect an external monitor to your computer in conjunction with the LCD of the computer for a total of two displays. With the optional high-speed, high-power port replicator, you can have a total of four displays available. The internal LCD display, a monitor connected to the HDMI or RGB port on the computer, a monitor connected by HDMI or display port on the video 2 group of the port replicator, and another monitor connected via RGB, DVI, or display port on the video 1 group of the port replicator. The monitors will need to be configured through the Windows operating system or graphics properties for usage and resolution. Now let's discuss the keyboard function keys. By holding down the key labeled FN and pressing one of the function keys, you can use the special features. The most common functions are raising and lowering the sound level by using the key labeled FN and the three key to lower or the four key to raise the sound level, raising and lowering the display brightness by using the key labeled FN and the F6 key to lower or F7 key to raise the display brightness, and turning the Wi-Fi antenna on and off by using the key labeled FN and the F8 key combination. To disable the touchpad, there's a dedicated area in the upper left corner of the touchpad. When double tapped, it will disable or enable the touchpad. Note that this will not affect the AccuPoint pointing device. You can also use the key labeled FN and the F9 key combination to toggle the touchpad on and off. Let's take a look at connecting the computer to an optional high-speed, high-power port replicator. First you will notice the letter C on the port replicator. This is where you will position the back right corner of the computer when ready to connect the computer to the port replicator. With the computer in the closed lid position, align the back right corner of the computer to the port replicator and press down on the back of the computer until it clicks into place. To release the computer from the port replicator, pull the release lever located on the back right side of the port replicator to the right until you hear a release clicking sound. Then lift the computer from the replicator. For more information on how to use your port replicator, see our additional video on using Toshiba high-speed port replicators. Now that we've covered most of the common features, let's discuss some troubleshooting tips. If your unit will not start, here are some things you should do. First, ensure you attach the AC adapter and power cable properly. If you're using the AC adapter, check that the wall outlet is working by plugging in another device, such as a lamp. You should also verify that the computer is receiving power from the external power source by looking at the AC power light. If the indicator is glowing, the computer is connected to a live external power source. Verify that the computer is on by checking that the on-off LED indicator is glowing. If the indicator is glowing, the computer is on. You can also try turning the computer off and then on. If it still doesn't power on, you'll need additional support. If you are a business customer and have an internal help desk, you may need to contact them directly for support. For additional information, like user and quick start guides, visit support.toshiba.com.
enter your model or serial number, and then select the Manuals and Specs tab. To find your model or serial number, look at the bottom of your unit, as shown here. Also note that because some units are customized, not all features and software are applicable to your unit. This concludes this video on the Tecra W50 laptop. For more information, go to support.toshiba.com.